Pisces, welcome to your just in time tarot reading. If you're watching this Pisces, trust that there is a message here for you. If you're a regular, welcome back Pisces. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Bronya. I'm an intuitive tarot reader and looking forward to sharing this message with you that can feel like a personal reading sometimes. It can really align powerfully. Other times it might be pieces that resonate and don't underestimate those. And sometimes none of it will with the general collective reading. Just leave it for the next person. Okay, we are being told here Pisces that your dreams need a practical plan now you know I think that one of the the strengths of the Piscean energy is that you are you know uh, dreamers and visionaries and you know you often uh, have a lot of you know ideas and concepts but if we don't take the earthly action if we don't back them with the you know the belief that we can make it happen and put a plan in place then generally they just remain potential right so full moon and Taurus coming out the Taurian themes could be some kind of dream to do with your career maybe wanting to be financially set up financially free build your own business or maybe you know uh, you know buy home invest those are kind of Taurus themes so let's keep going I am using the divine initiation oracle and the ethereal alchemist tarot this week and I'll link these stunners down below if you would like to add them to your collection okay lunar initiation that is interesting because you are the moon in the major arcana for me Pisces and the moon energy and I was actually had that in my mind's eye as I was reading this card and thinking about you you know it really does talk about um you know overcoming our own shadow aspects in order to move forward right it talks about really you know going deep with ourselves and overcoming the fears and maybe the worries and the anxieties um, it also can talk about illusionary energy. So again, it's saying if we don't put action to this, then it will remain just an illusion. But then the shadow self will come in to validate why, you know, you haven't moved forward. All right. So let's keep going. So let's keep going. Okay, first tarot out is the Three of Wands. This is so fitting, Pisces, because the traditional version of this card shows someone who is standing at a really important threshold, right? They're at the cliff's edge, looking out on the water, and they can see some ships on the horizon, right? Those ships represent the seeding of your success, the results, but they won't come into harbor, they won't land, they won't bring in those results, that cargo, unless you actually take the action to leap towards them. So the three of wands for me is always, I'm not looking back, I am, you know, taking that action, having that communication, I'm doing what I need to do, I'm putting that practical plan in place, but I'm actually taking the steps, because that's how I bring those ships in, that's how I get my cargo. And the three energy is creation, expansion, bringing you more than what you have currently. Yes, Ace of Swords. This is that laser clarity, the breakthrough. So maybe you're having a breakthrough as you listen to this reading, thinking, you know what, I know what I need to do. Um, yeah, I'm going to move forward. This is the right time. The Ace of Swords is victory it is the win but of course it comes through the process that we have spoken about look at that card it's so beautiful it's um just a, a really gorgeous image here it has so much power but it also um what is coming through right now is that this is a round truth and we were talking about that shadow aspect of the moon pisces i really feel that we might need to see the truth of it you know where have those scripts and stories been about well it's not the right time or you know what if it fails or, you know i'm comfortable here we need to get out of our own way and uh you know, really make the moves to make progress. Otherwise, we're seven of swordsing ourselves, right? And this can be where there is the undermining, the undervaluing of, of you and maybe your skills and what you're wanting to create here, either from within or in your external environment, right? Now, 
how many times do we share our hopes, dreams, and wishes, and we have someone saying, you're dreaming, or, oh, you know, th th wouldn't that be nice, or that will never happen, or they laugh at you. I mean, uh, that happened to me quite a lot when I was stepping into what I'm doing here, and I gave up my very successful, established career for it, but I believed it, and I did not listen, and I kept going. So really, what I'm sensing here is that you really need to come back to your truth and your, your true north and your center, and block that out, right? Because that's just going to give you, if you listen to that, more evidence as to why, all right then, well, I'll just stay in the shadows here, you know, and I won't move forward. The Three of Swords, that's a second number three in the reading, which is a creation energy, is often a severance energy. In order for you to take this journey forward, you might be needing to let go of someone or something. Now that could look like the toxic job that is completely taking all of your energy. Therefore, you can't ever give that side hustle, you know, the, the attention it deserves to become your, you know, flourishing business. I did a reading for someone recently who was in that position um, and they, they, they made the changes, right? And focused on that business and they're getting their results. So what I'm saying is that there could be a, a block here that is in the way. Sometimes the Three of Swords is like, you know, the pain that we carry from a past experience. We might have had past loss. We might be in lack. But again, don't use that as evidence as to why not to move forward. The Three of Swords is a three for a reason because from that place of, of hurt or lessons or learning, we heal twice as strong and we can use that learning to propel us forward to the victory that is truly waiting the six of wands and we talked about stepping out of the shadows and getting out of your own way pisces well that is exactly what the six of wands is it is head held high confidence i am aligned to my truth i know what i want to create not only am I putting a plan in place and moving forward, but I'm willing to be seen in that energy, right? Because I'm owning it. So the Six of Wands is really excellent if you are entering into recruitment um, processes, if you are showing up online, if you are trying to forge um, ahead or show up as a leader or an authority, that kind of energy. And really, it, it's it's a it's a victory. It's a win. So you've got two indicators, Pisces, of be, being victorious. Should you move forward with this? So the win is waiting for you, right? It's like all the energy is just waiting for you to join the party, Pisces. Your dreams need a practical plan. Put it in place and start stepping forward. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you'd like to follow up with a personal reading, first link down below will pop you over to my website and you can check out what I offer there. Uh, I'll also link you to my Instagram and social media accounts. I have uh, Facebook and TikTok. I'm really active and interactive over there with different content and some more you know, sharing of different spiritual concepts. Uh, what else? I have a free Learn Tarot Quick Guide and two paid options for learning intuitive tarot with me that is reading from the heart the intuition not the guidebook so i'll let you explore all of that i am sending you so much love and magic bye for now